Hello everyone, I'm Brian Croy Dragon. Back with another Tales from the Crypt Keeper commentary. I uh, had a bit of a hiatus. Um, might be on hiatus for a while. Uh, <clears throat> today is Grounds for Horror. And let's get started. <laughs> Little tale is about the ghoul old days of summer camp. It makes me young again just thinking about it. Oh, yes, summer ah, camp. summer camp. Bee stings, mosquito bites, fresh scare, and poison ivy. <laughs> but speaking of fresh scare, tonight's cramp fire story is about a nasty counselor who was not a happy camper. He had to learn the hard way that summer camp can either be fun and games, or grounds for horror. Head Counselor Bill Magritte. This is not, I repeat, this is not a vacation resort. No, this uh, is a life experience. Will you have fun here? <laughs> I don't see it on the curriculum, and I doubt you will have time for it. Besides, in my book, fun is a four-letter word. From this moment on, your childhood is over. You are no longer children. Here, we will work hard, be serious, and get tough. And although you come as kids, I promise you, you will leave as responsible young adults. You got that? So, there will be no water guns, squirt bottles, sprayers, and or water weaponry of any kind. No rubber snakes and or worms, plastic ants, flies, beetles, and any and all artificial insecti. <laughs> no cookies, candy bars, chewing gum, and or snack foods of any and all kinds. Any questions? Put it in writing. Spelling and punctuation count. Welcome to Camp Rock Bottom. And pick up those feathers! Take it from Scabs. Don't sweat your shorts about Uncle Bill. I've seen tougher. They all wear down. He's right. 
Are we gonna play Wimp and let Head Counselor Bill Magritte wreck our fun? Itchy? No! Kroger? No way! 6X? Not! Alright then, let's make this place ours! <laughs> Kids only get up this early Christmas morning. I don't even scratch this hard. This isn't helping my boys. I think he'll make us hunt for our breakfast. Who asked what back does breakfast dishes? I'll wash. I'll dry. Up and at him! Huh? to play games. Cut him some slack, Bill. There's nothing wrong with exercise, but aren't you forgetting what it was like when you were a kid? Summer camp is supposed to be fun. I'm moving into the girls' cabin. I'll have you know, assistant counselor Katie, if having fun is your definition of what being a kid is all about, I never was a kid. I never had time for silly nonsense. All work and no play made me the man I am today. We're doomed. Well, we're going canoeing after lunch. You and your guys are welcome to join us, General Grumpface. I'm afraid they'll be too busy. Last one's back to lunch dishes! Real woods men used to travel 20 miles a day in this fashion. Then they got wise and decided to let the canoe carry them. Hey, can anyone see where we're going? Whoa! No. <gasps> What do you think you're doing? It's called swimming. We've been working overtime since sunup. We've got sunburn, dishpan hands, mosquito bites on top of mosquito bites, we're tired, thirsty, and hot! So am I, mister! But you don't see me whining! But we're only kids. All we want is a swim. I told you before, forget the kid stuff. I set the example here. I expect you to follow it. In other words, everything I do, you do. Got that? Everything! Huh? Hey! Huh? Huh? Like Bill said, everything he does, we do. Well, well, maybe old Bill had a change of heart. Swimming with your clothes on? <laughs> Looks like fun. Last chance. I want whoever pushed me to be man enough to step forward and admit it! No one pushed you. Yeah. Y you just kind of jumped in by yourself. Itchy's right. We all saw it. Well, since you're all in this together, you're all on firewood detail. Aww. I want enough wood so they can see the fire in Milwaukee! What's Milwaukee? Someplace, somewhere. 
know that uh, <laughs> was very rocky. <laughs> Six X, you okay, buddy? I wanna go home. Hey, things will get better. It can't get any worse. I lost it, Petey. Lost what, Six X? My grandpa's pen knife. He gave it to me special. I promised I'd never ever lose it. And in the woods today? Maybe when I I I tripped on that log. Don't sweat it. I'll find it for you. You will? Yeah. You have to promise me you'll stick it out a few more days. Deal. I'll go too. Nah. If Bill catches you, you'll be chopping wood for a week. Remember, it's a log. My friend's pen knife, and and I'll be on my way. Ah! Oh. Hey, what do you know? told us something happened in the woods last night. Fill us in, Petey. <coughs> Don't think I've forgotten about yesterday. I'll find out who pushed me. It's only a matter of time. What's he talking about? Yeah, no one pushed him. You pushed him? Then who did? Hoser. Who? I'll show you tonight. You ain't gonna believe this. There are too many things already forcing them to grow up without you stripping them of the simple joys of childhood. Fun, freedom, wonderment. I am molding them into mature, responsible young adults. It's a tough job, but somebody has to do it. No, Bill. Our job is to help them enjoy just being kids. This discussion is over. Yes, sir, Commander Cranky. Uh, Katie? God. Look at me. Creeping around like a scared little kid. That's it. It's those juveniles playing their childish games. We'll see about this. me into the lake. But it wasn't us. Fallen! 
You are gonna stand like this until the guilty one steps forward. Was it you? Or you? It wasn't 6X. Or any of us. It, it was... Poser. Yeah, he's kind of big and... He looks kind of scary, but he's not. He's like a big kid. He's our friend. He lives in the woods, and he doesn't like adults at all. Well, how come I never seen this hooser? Hoser. Because only kids can see him. Hauser, huh? Hoser. Whatever! Just when I thought I was making progress with you, you turn around and blame your childish behavior on... an invisible friend! But he's real. This is exactly the kind of silly, juvenile nonsense I'm determined to break you out. From now on, it's double duty workouts! But Hoser likes to have fun as much as we do. He's not gonna like this. Hoser does not exist! tonight camping in the woods you tell your imaginary friend it's a showdown either he puts up or you shut up i don't think that's such a good idea hoser's only been having fun so far and if you go out there for the night being a grown-up and all hoser's jokes might not be too funny nothing is gonna happen to me because i'm gonna prove your imaginary friend does not exist and when i get back i want no more nonsense no more silliness, no more games, no more tricks, and even one word about this hoser, and I will personally put you on the bus back home! Got it? We gotta stop him! Sorry guys, he made me promise. Ah, good night for boogeyman. <gasps> oh, this is silly. <gasps> Juvenile. Kid stuff. Childish nonsense? It's just the wind. <laughs> It's over. I think, well, I think Hoser was just trying to remind you of what it's like to be a kid. Remember how you got scared being alone in the dark? I bet you used to imagine monsters and things were under your bed. 
I used to think they were in my closet. Yeah, thinking they're in the bathroom is the worst. The world used to be full of monsters and magic and heroes and friends. Anything was possible. And still is. Come on, I want you to meet a friend of mine. Come on, he's nothing to be afraid of now. Just take a look. He's kind of neat. Well, what do you think? He is neat. I think he wants to play. <laughs> Don't worry about your daughter, Mr. and Mrs. Hobbs. At Camp Rock Bottom, fun is what it's all about. Last one in is a grown-up! Cannonball! <laughs> you call that a cannonball? Look out below! That's Bill Magritte, the head counselor. Hey, who's for chili and ice cream? <laughs> He's a living, breathing example of that old saying, a great man is he who has not lost the heart of a child. <laughs> The lesson of today's frightening forest fable is, you're only as old as you feel. <laughs> Once Bill remembered how much fun it was to be a kid, he wasn't so spooked anymore. He realized that being mean-spirited doesn't give you a... ghost of a chance with an imaginary fiend. So until next time, campers, good night and don't let the bedbugs bite. Not to mention creeping bags. all for today everyone i'm brian croydragon signing out stay shrey